Hi guys, welcome to my porch. How are you? Are you keeping well? Still enjoying the school holidays? Looking forward to going back to school? I wonder if during lockdown you've maybe taken to trying some new things. Like maybe you've taken to some gardening. Now I have to confess my gardening has gone as far as cutting the grass and cutting the hedge and digging out many, many weeds in one almighty root, which I dug out, it was like a tree stump that we dug out. But my mum has been doing lots and lots of planting and growing lots of things. And this here is one of her plants that she's planted. You can maybe see some of the flowers that are growing on it up near the top. But actually this point here, where there's a wee branch or a vine, and there's something growing on it. Can you see what it is? Oh, can I come a wee bit closer, are you? Can you see? Can you get a good close look? It's wee baby tomatoes. That's what we've got growing. And tomatoes grow on a vine. Seems a bit strange me saying that, doesn't it? I mean, honestly, why would I be talking about that? What's that to do with I am sayings of Jesus. Well, one of the I am sayings of Jesus in John chapter 15, verse 1, Jesus says, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. Now that seems a wee bit strange to be saying, but as this plant has grown, there's been bits that have been chopped off it to help it to grow and now we've got wee small tomatoes. The father being the gardener is obviously God but the vine is producing nourishment and the tomatoes are starting to grow and they'll hopefully change in colour, won't be too much longer before we don't have, it's not green tomatoes, we'll maybe have red or maybe yellow tomatoes. Time will tell in that and they'll be really good to eat. I'm looking forward to the eating part, I have to say. So what does that mean for us? Well, what it means if Jesus is a true vine, it means that we should draw close to him and that we get all the goodness from Jesus, that he can be our friend. But there's also the bit about God the gardener chopping bits off and we need to remember some things we need to get rid of, things that keep us apart from God. So if there's anything that you do, anything that keeps you apart from God or anything that you know kind of gets in the way of being at church when we're there or being at an SU group when you're back at school if they're up and running, then maybe we need to think about that and ways that we can draw closer to God. Guys, I'm going to close with a small word of prayer for you guys, particularly any of the older ones who've got exam results that are due soon. And hopefully see you next week. But let's have a word of prayer. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for keeping us all safe. And we thank you that you are the true vine, that we can get nourishment and goodness from you and that you can help cut off the things in our life that can be that can keep us separate from you. Father God, we think of our young folk who are awaiting exam results. We think of young folk all across the country. We pray for calmness for them, that they can know that whatever those results are, that there is still a special plan for them. Father God, please keep us safe in this coming week. In your name we pray. Amen. Guys, have a super week. I look forward to hearing your stories if you've been growing anything. And I look forward to seeing you next week for the penultimate part in the I Am Sayings of Jesus. See you next week. Bye.